colleagues, just a few brief points on this amendment. We are just providing the administration the option to get arms directly to the Kurds. The Kurds currently are providing refuge to over 1.6 million refugees from Iraq and Syria. Many of them are ethnic and religious minorities, such as Christians. The Peshmerga have shown the ability to be effective on the battlefield against ISIS. And this Ernst Boxer Amendment is a companion bill to the one presented by Representatives Royce and Engel in the House. And I would just urge my colleagues to support this. The Senator has, conf has confirmed, has used her 30 seconds. Thank you. And I would yield to Senator Boxer. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I'm really very Senator proud to director. team up with uh, the good senator here because this is a very modest amendment that just puts us in line with our colleagues. The United Kingdom, Germany, Turkey, Canada, France, Australia, and others who already are directly arming the Kurds. Now, the President's policy that I absolutely support is we're going to take this fight to ISIS, but we're not going to have combat boots on the ground. We're going to help strategically with airstrikes. These are the people who are taking it day after day, deaths and blood and wounds. That's the least we can do is support this amendment. Senator Times expired. Mr. President. Senator from Rhode Island. Mr. President, I oppose the Ernst Amendment. Uh, it would undermine what has been the fundamental policy of the United States going back uh, into the last administration, a unified, sovereign Iraq. Uh, this amendment would send a signal to uh, the Iraqis that we are supporting the Kurds directly, not supporting a unified, sovereign Iraq. That would complicate our efforts against ISIL. It would complicate our efforts in the region. Uh, and also, uh, it is a situation now where the efforts shifting into Anbar province against the, in the Sunni areas. Uh, we are supporting the Kurds. Uh, in fact, I, Prime Minister Barzani was here a few weeks ago and indicated that uh, he was at least accepting of the arrangements, which I think are appropriate. If this amendment passes, the perception will be that the United States is now not trying to unify or help the Iraqis unify, but put a uh, a, a degree of separation between an autonomy, and that would be a mistake. The question occurs on the amendment. I ask for the yeas and nays. Is there a sufficient second? There appears to be. The clerk will call the roll. Are you ready? On this vote, the yeas are 54, the nays are 45, under the previous order requiring 60 votes for adoption of this amendment. The amendment is not agreed to.